Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see about the arithmetic function for the floating point numbers. Right. So as I have already told, we have a different block for doing the arithmetic functions for the floating point, and that instructions you can find in floating point here under this. Okay, floating point mat. Okay, it's nothing but arithmetic blocks. Correct. So can you see here? Addition R, addition sub. What does this R mean? It is a real, real number. So that nothing but a floating point number. Correct. So in a previous session we have seen for integer and double integer. Here we are going to do the same thing and that for real numbers. Okay. So let's see what is the difference. So here the similarities are. It is also having a three inputs and two outputs. What is the address for the real block? We have seen in the comparators, right? It's same as double integer. Correct. MD. It's not a special address or not there. So it is MD only. So how I need to give the input? That is important over here. Can you see? I zero point zero is already in a on condition. I'm just turning off. Well, let it be on. So here let's change, modify. I am just giving 8.9. I should give the floating point number. Correct. So just see 8.9. Right. So this value is 0. I am just changing again this to 8.9. Right. So 1.1 I will give. Can you see 8.9 is added with 1.1 and it is showing the value of 10. Okay. I will just give 1.2. Or 1.5 something like that. Can you see? Now the value is 10.4. So here for the floating point numbers. You should give in point. Okay. So you should not miss the. In, uh, I mean your uh, the decimal point we are putting. You no know, that floating point number. That is mandatory. Okay. So that's the difference between the double integer and this block. You should give the values like this. Like this. Correct. So it will get added up with the 1.5 and it is showing the answer in MW8. Got it? Shall we do on for the subtraction block also? We'll do that. I'm going to copy this rung and paste it in. Yeah. I'll do division also. Okay. I'm going to change this with sub. Okay. This one I'll go for multiplication, subtraction, and this one gonna be the division. Okay. So for all, I'm going to give the same number. Okay, fine. So here I'm going to give MD8. Here MD12. Here MD16. The address should be very particular because MD8 I'm giving here means it will take 8, 9, 10, 11. Four channels it will take. So for the next address I'm using should be MD12. I should not use MD11 or MD10. That means the both the outputs will get collapsed. Okay. So here also I have used 12 already. So 12, 13, 14, 15 is used by this, this address and 16 is the next available one. Got it. That's what I have given MD16 over there. Now I will go for online. I am turning on. Right. So already we have uh, given the value in the previous uh, previous uh, addition block. No. So let's see here. This is doing the multiplication of these two numbers and stored in MD8. This one is doing a subtraction. See 876.89 minus 1.5. It is showing 875.39. Same thing we have it has done for division also. It is divided by 1.5 and the answer is 
got it so wherever you want to feed the real number as a input and you may get a real number as a output in that case you should use the real blocks of siemens you may ask me i cannot give the normal number here you can give see i'm giving 90 i want to give 90 90 is normally integer only but since it is a floating point block i can use like this 90.0 okay so this is how you need to use the real blocks got it so we have three more instruction is oh, four five more instructions are pending that is absolute what is the absolute what is the absolute instruction will do any idea so what is the uh, you know definition they have given for this instruction absolute value of the floating point number so what is the absolute means it will remove the numbers which is after the decimal point if you have given 91.09 means the absolute value of 91.09 is 91 what it is doing it is removing the decimal part okay so here also it is the input is asking in a real correct so you should give the proper address if you are not giving the proper address it will raise the error yeah so i'll just change this to 78.90 so the answer is ah uh, i'm extremely sorry uh, there is one small correction absolute value is not the real uh, it's not uh, no that is a truncate function okay so i have done a mistake so absolute value is removing the negative sign if it is in a negative if you are giving the negative input it will give in the positive okay so if you are giving the negative number it will be changing that to positive for example see here so the i have explained you know that uh, negative uh, integer part it will that is a truncate function not a absolute function i'm sorry right so what it will do i'm just giving like this okay so can you see absolute value will be removing the negative sign from the in input okay so what if if you are giving the positive it will remains the same see it will remains the same correct so i confused with the truncate function we are having trunk functions i will explain you in our next upcoming sessions okay so what is the truncate so truncate means it will remove that uh, you know decimal part so absolute means whatever you are giving it will consider the output as positive okay so if you are giving a positive itself it will take that no issues but if you are giving a negative number it will take the i'm just giving it will take the positive the negative signature it will not bother fine this is absolute absolute value of the floating number floating point number is removing the negative sign from the that mean it is considering the negative number as positive number that's it okay yeah the next one we are going to see is square root okay so what is the purpose of square root what it will do square root of the particular number it will give correct now let's go for online these are all the math functions right So I'll give hundred hundred point zero. What is the square root of hundred? It is ten. Correct. So I'll just give one big number four twenty five point zero. So it is twenty point six one five five. It is absolute. You know the number. Even with the decimal point, it is showing. It is the square root of four twenty five. I'll go for six twenty five. Okay, the values it is showing in the exponential. I'll give thousand. What will be the answer? Square root of thousand is 
31.6228 correct yeah so any other square root if you want to find you can give i'm just giving some random numbers only i'm giving and uh, if you want to get the perfect square means you should give the give, give the perfect square here the answer should be a perfect square means you should give the correct number for this because since we are giving the random number we are giving getting like this okay i'm giving the random number so it is giving the square root of the random number fine so this is how you need to work with the square root block same thing we are going to do the square so let's do one thing i'll take a square and i'll give this md4 and we'll check whether we are getting the same thing whatever we are giving here okay i'm storing that in different address fine here also i'm putting the input condition ready to run yeah see here i have done the square root it is showing the answer and that the value i'm giving here to square so it is giving the whatever value we have given i'll give thousand so for thousand what we got some 33 something right 31 something can you see here and the same thing i'm giving here it is showing here square root square got it so this is the use of square root and square functions next we are having is log and exponential so here i'm putting a log natural log okay and here i'm going to give the exponential value okay let's go for run yeah so here also see here i we have already given md0 as uh, 1000 it is showing the logarithmic value of 1000 and i'm just giving the same thing as exponential it is giving the answer as 1000 i'll just give 10 log of 10 10.0 it is 2.3 correct fine so i'll give log of 10 log of 10 given no log of 20 will give so the answer should be 1.3 oh it is 2.9 yeah fine this is the natural logarithm okay natural log so these are all the functions that for example in your uh, requirement you may need of such functions you want to process the some variables you want to do some functions to the you need to add some functions to the variables means you can make use of these arithmetic blocks fine so this is natural log and this is exponential function correct so this is how you need to use the instructions in the siemens you should give the md zero address for example if you are not giving a md zero address if instead of that you are just giving md mw so it will there itself it will show the error what error it is showing let's check that i am just giving here also see actual data type word does not fit the formal type real of the formal parameter correct so mw2 mw mw means it may be integer or word that is not fit for the real block so you should not use like that it is telling okay so why these parameters this log exponential square square root or comes under the real block means output will have a real real numbers output will have the real point numbers so floating point numbers in that case if you are using a integer block or double integer block you will not get the perfect output 
okay so what is the complete output you want means what is the output even that is having a real numbers i want to see the numbers which is after the decimal point in that case you should use the real instructions like floating point functions got it so in then in our next session we will see how to use the sin cos tan fine so i hope you have understood the arithmetic uh, blocks so we'll see you all in our next session with sin cos tan got it yeah until then bye